Hey guys, Chad Hoover. Welcome to today's video where we're headed north to Two Rivers, Wisconsin to chase some giant king salmon. So we pulled over on the side of the road for a little quick session. If you see that radio tower over there, it might look familiar because in the book that I wrote kayak bass fishing back in 2009, this pond is one of the places that I did a lot of the fishing for that book. And it was because I was in the Navy training at a nearby army base and uh, doing some combat SAR stuff. This lake was across the road from a hotel behind the Sam's. Long story short, I convinced them to give me permission to fish out of it in a kayak because there was no bank fishing and no boat fishing, but I was in a kayak and I flat smashed them. In fact, the fish off the cover of the book came from this pond. So we have about 20 minutes. I'm gonna try to recreate the magic and see if I can catch a fish. Savage gear brim. Man, these things look juicy in the water. Been a few times that I thought, like, ooh, I'll jump in there and eat that myself. <laughs> so I'm 47 years old, about to be 48 years old, and I'm on my way to go fish for six days, but I gotta stop and hit ponds along the ways. So I don't have track marks on my arm, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's the same addiction. It's the same. And um in fact, this corner right here, if I remember correctly, was pretty good. So maybe we should stop and make one or two more casts. What do you think, Austin? I mean, if you gotta ask, the, the answer's yeah, right? You're already here. I mean, we're here. Oh, look, there's another pond. We're already gonna be late to Wisconsin, so there's no yeah. such thing as later. Might as well be late with some fish slime. All right, let's go do it. Ah. Cast with this. Try the old top water. Top water. You know, you got all the conditions. You got dropping barometer. You got overcast skies. You got a little bit cooler weather than it's been being. But I think what's happening is the fish gods are saying, not yet. You don't want to ruin what's about to go down up in Wisconsin. So he's really not letting us, they're not letting us prematurely get our excitement on it, if that makes sense. In other words, it's being held back so that we have more, more to look forward to in what's about to come, which is musky pike. Well, salmon still have with musky and pike is kind of like a secondary if everything works out. Here we go. So we literally rounded the corner and also said, what is that? It looks like the ocean. It's like, yeah, that's why they call it the Great Lake. So that is Lake Michigan. And we finally made it after being on the road all day. So we're about to, about 
to hook up with the crew from Catch and do some dinner and I got to do a podcast and yeah, long day on the long day on the road tomorrow is going to be <sighs> Here we go. What's up, man? Dude. Austin, Austin, Chad Hoover, Austin, 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 and Austin. No, it's unbelievable. Like, uh, We're gonna get on? this off. Nice, nice to meet you, Chuck. Chuck, Chad. Nice to meet you. I'm the local, born and raised here. Oh, I'm gonna be showing you guys some spots tomorrow. He's, he's literally known everybody that walked past on the on the sidewalk. That's funny, bro. <laughs> he's like, oh, hey, Jimmy, what's going on? Like, so where do you say I should do it on the back deck? I'm the check it out, man. Is there Wi-Fi? We have Wi-Fi, yeah. You know the code or is it like... Uh, I can check the, the stuff. Yeah, we should have the code. The, the best way, way to eat a fresh salmon caught this sweet. morning. Yeah, my own right to eat is draft it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's the ice cream in love. Oh, it's the ice cream in Ready for the grill. Ready to eat. <laughs> All right, you caught that today, didn't you? Yeah, I went out this morning. Actually, got a lot of fish. Um, just fresh as it gets. I mean, this is gonna be delicious. So welcome to today's video where we're switching things up and we are on Lake Michigan up in Two Rivers, Wisconsin with the crew from Catch. And I just got to say, there's probably going to be some bleeping involved in this video. Um, we try to keep it clean, but this crew uh, looks like extras from Breaking Bad or they just got out on parole or maybe they're still in and out on a work release program. But we're going to go try to catch some salmon in the Great Lakes. It's gonna be something a little different for me. I have no idea what we're doing. I'm gonna be the student here instead of the teacher and I'm gonna share with you guys what I learned along the way. Let's get it. That's a good eater right there. Oh, That's yeah. gonna have nice, great eat. That's a coho? Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, he's got my finger pretty good right now. All right, so looks like one of the guys is hooked up. I'm going to uh, troll my way over there and see if I can uh, see what he's got. Looks like he's towing him up the river for a good way, so. Hopefully it's a big fish. Let's go check it out. Is that a good one? Yeah, I missed my 
What, what do you got, Austin? Do you know? Big King. Big King. Just chilling here, I can't even spot your mom. <laughs> That's alright, man. I don't want to get in the way. You're on a horse and snap you, off. Do you need help in that there? You good? You good? You got a big king? Yeah, he's got a big king on. Thing's not moving. Yeah, this is why uh, you can't be in a 9 to 5 cube. <laughs> what do you say, 10 pound test? 10 pound test, yeah. Maybe. You got a 30 pounder? This thing is massive. I can't pull him up. With a 9 pound smallmouth? <laughs> He's trying to take a phone call right now. That's a, well, dude, I can't talk like right now. I'm fighting a big salmon. Just vibrating. <laughs> I love it, this guy. So this is uh, Austin. Hey man, I'm on the other line. This is the uh, this is the uh, bartender that we had last time we were here a couple years ago, and we just uh, ordered a couple drinks and got this off. And he just told us all the next stuff over here. Here he is. Of course, he's going to try the salmon. So, uh, dude, it's pretty huge. Where is This is that guy's first time in a kayak ever. And this will be his first fish out of a kayak. I know, I'm just, I'm just handling you. I just know the spots, this is my expertise. I think we're going on about 10 minutes now? Yeah, probably about 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. Woo! So Look at that. Oh, oh, that thing is huge. <laughs> nice fish, Austin. Nice fish. Dude, congrats, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That is, uh, that's the biggest one I've seen out of here. How big Where is that? Where is the one? Oh, that's going to be probably 28 pounds. 28 to 30 pounds, yeah. probably. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That's your first fish out of a kayak? 
first fish out of a kayak. First fish out of a Dude. kayak, Austin. How's that feel, man? You kind of <laughs> set the bar pretty high. <laughs> I think what happened oh, yeah. there was a spike in this, and I got him in the head. Oh, they're jumping all around. I'm marking them. Thing's a beast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy for you. What a fish, man. What a fish. First fish out of a kayak, That's huh? Right. What's the number? 22.13 pounds. Things a beast. Sweet. Oh yeah. First fish out of a kayak. Wow. <laughs> you got like 40 pounds of fish there, but. <laughs> What's up? Fish are starting to bite. Oh yeah, that one's a monster. <laughs> That's cool. Unbelievable. Never done that before. Two fish, two for the price of one. Big king? I haven't seen it, but I'm pretty sure it's a king. Where you going, buddy? Man, he is like, yeah. That's actually number four. Making turns, but that guy definitely was coming when uh, when I was making a left-hand turn, so that made You were making a left-hand turn and it hit on the outside. Yeah, he's so sped up. Yeah, so I was I was trying to stay 1718, but I was probably 19. Maybe. So on the outside, that bait might have been going. So we're about, I don't know, two hours in. We got four fish between about three different guys. Um, Dad's still slacking, so. But like he's like he said in the beginning, he's a student here, as was, as I am too. This is a this is a pretty cool experience to watch these guys do what they're good at and learn something new other than bass fishing. So I'm stoked. So I come here to troll for salmon and catch a smallmouth. <laughs> About my luck. But if you troll around rocks and they're or smallmouth in the area, you're gonna catch them. That is uh, definitely my first ever trolling, pretty sure it's my first ever trolling smallmouth. Definitely my first one on a salmon lure. Everything eats fire tiger though. Pretty little smallmouth. Just like that. 
<laughs> Another smallie. Well, guys, if you want to catch smallmouth, just go king salmon fishing. And then uh, you'll catch them. Another little small guy. Pretty much cannot troll past that rock or pile without catching a smallmouth. <laughs> Not complaining, but it's pretty funny you're out here trying to catch kings and you're catching a smallmouth like every time you come past that rock pile. Little guys, but they make it interesting to say the least. <laughs> oh, there we go. Pretty much every time I come past them rocks, it's probably a small, small mouth, but every time. Yep, another little, another little smallie. All right, well, just to keep my confidence up and to pass the time, I'm gonna troll back past these rocks, which has been thus far pretty much a guaranteed smallmouth. So let's uh, troll past them again and see if we can't get another one. Come on, camera shot. There he is, as advertised. As advertised. Oh. <laughs> like that rock pile is smallmouth central. Look at how chunky that thing is right there, son. Austin just called my fish a dink, so dink drop. <laughs> Let's come across some rocks like that through that shadow. See what I'm saying? It's like, it's like guaranteed, man. It's like guaranteed. It's like guaranteed. Like little dude, but now this is a real dink drop right here. We're gonna have to do a, we'll have to do a real, a re re, a re dink drop. I have to get these pliers out that I bought to take these fish off. Ready for the dink drop? So I'm out here trolling in the middle of nowhere and catch another smallmouth. <laughs> so, it's like I'm destined to catch smallmouth today. Maybe I should start fishing for smallmouth and I'll catch a king. Yeah, I'll take it, man. Knock the chunk off. What's that, five? You got that thing right five on the wall. Let's see it, Duke. Try not to end up in the water here. A couple like 15, 16 pounders. Not bad. Oh. Got it on the downrigger ball. Over here. All right, so just like about half my trips this year, the first day was good, and all of the days in the middle were ridiculously crazy weather. We had rain, we had wind, we had wind and rain, and then for the most part, it made it almost unfishable in the places we really needed to be to catch the salmon. So one day I hooked up with Jake. We headed over to the river, we gave that a varsity go, but the wind was just so treacherous, uh, it made it next to impossible to fish and fish the way that we would have needed to fish to catch king salmon. Uh, we couldn't launch on the bay side, we had to go way up the river. The water was dirty, there was a lot of trash and debris that had blown in. So we decided to just head back and fish the creek or the river uh, right behind the Airbnb that we had rented. My son Austin, decides he's gonna go out and fish after being encouraged to fish the whole week. It's the bottom of the ninth, two men on, two outs. We're down by one and he goes out there and hooks up with the king and finishes the trip off with an exclamation point. Later brother, thanks. Job, man.
Another fishing adventure in the books. That knucklehead holding the camera caught a king salmon, and that was the whole purpose of the trip. I've caught a few. Never caught one from the kayak, and still can't say that I've caught one from the kayak, but it's the beautiful thing about fishing. You just, uh, just keep trying, keep whining, keep grinding. Now put your seatbelt on, boy.